What is up, people? We are so excited that you came back on to Cross Caddy Golf. And like always, we got a short devotion for you, and then we're going to get out there and play some golf. So let's get it. Once again, my name is Abraham Fuentes, and I'm the founder of Cross Caddy Golf. I'm so excited that you came back and joined on with us. It means a lot. If you love God and you love golf and you want to put the two together and you want to get a devotion in you, maybe once a week, every day, we got a bunch of content that's coming out. We got a bunch of scripture that's coming out. We got a lot of different shorts that we've been putting together that are coming out to inspire you, not just to bring the cross to the course. I know that's our, our tagline, but wherever you go, wherever you go, whether it's a golf course, whether it's work, whether it's at home, we want to build your faith and we also want to build your love for the golf game. And so today we're going to get right into it. Um, we're in the series of time and of waiting. And the scripture that I have for you today for today's devotion is found in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 and that's 2nd Peter chapter 3 verse 9 one more time and it says this the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient towards you not willing that any should perish but that all should reach repentance and that all should be reached we see right here that 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 word repent what it simply means is that you're turning from one way and you're going the other Basically, you're not doing a whole 360 turn because that basically will just put you right back where you were, but you're doing a whole 180. I've heard it like that before. It's like when, when you're going somewhere and you say, you know what, I'm going the wrong way. The direction is back there. And that's all God wants you to do in your life. I don't care if you've been saved for a long time. I don't care if you're barely learning about the Lord as, as I know that we use this as an evangelistic tool to reach people out on the golf course and to share it to your friends. If, if you know somebody that needs Jesus and you're a believer, share this with them. Leave a comment down below. If you're liking the content, content, what else we can add, what else we can do to make it exciting for golfers that you can share it to golfers straight from YouTube right onto the course as an evangelistic tool. But what I want to tell you today is that repenting simply means like I said turning around turning around you're going the wrong way and you're turning around I remember one time um, I was playing at this course and it was my first time there and you know some courses are a little weird and I remember going to this course and I was actually playing the back nine I thought I was playing the first uh, front nine and I was totally turned around and I remember I played one hole and then you know the starter was like hey man first tees back there bro and so I remember I turned around and I came back and uh, I, had to, I had to go the other way. I had to go the other way, otherwise I would have messed up my whole route. And I wanna encourage you, if you're going down a path that maybe you know you shouldn't be, I wanna encourage you, man, do 180. Turn your life around. Turn some things around in your life. And, and sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we're set in our ways. Sometimes we like doing things a certain way, but I'm here to let you know, man, that, that God wants you to turn around. It's never too late to turn around. That's my second point. Um, I got into golf late in the game, and I wanna let you know, man, that I wish I learned how to do this when I was like 17 years old. I love this. I love playing golf. I love talking about golf, but I also love God. And if it wasn't for those two things, if it wasn't for God turning my life around, I would've never started playing golf. I would've never got introduced into golf, and I would never even be able to start this show and be able to tell people about God. And so what I wanna tell you lastly in closing is that when you turn your life around, God will use it for so much more than what you think you're being used for. I mean, you may be successful, but I'm here to let you know that God has such big plans for every single one of you that are watching, that if you would just turn those little things and even some big things around, God would begin to give you platforms to, to be able to tell people about Jesus, to be able to be an influencer 
for his kingdom. I know we got we use that word a lot, you know, influencer or, or you know, uh, 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 someone with influence. But I'm here to let you know there's no greater power to have within you to influence you with the love of God. And so I want to leave you with that here today. I'm going to close out in a word of prayer. But I want to encourage some of you, man, start just turning around. Start turning around those things that are hindering you from moving forward to your calling. And even in business, even maybe there's some things you got to change or maybe in your personal life, in school, wherever it is, start making those changes. Start making that progress because you could do it, man. There's greatness inside of you. You just got to repent, ask God to help you turn these things around in your life. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I come before you, Lord, and I lift, lift up every single person that is watching, wherever they're watching from, maybe they're even watching a replay. I pray that they would be able, God, to feel your love upon them, number one, and number two, that you begin to turn some things around within their life. Begin to turn some things around so much so that they're going to have breakthrough. They're going to they're gonna comment on this video. They're going to comment on this channel and just say, man, it's been a resource in my life that I've been able to get some God in me, not just golf, but I've been able to get some God in me to help me turn some things around so that I can serve him. And Lord, I pray right now for that person that feels it's too late. It's too late. I, I've had too much happen in my life. I've had too many things in my life happen and it's just too late. I'm too far gone. I pray that they would know that they're never too far from your reach. I pray that they will feel your love and your embrace and that they will go forward in you. In Jesus name. Amen. Hey man, like I said in that prayer, it's never too late to turn your life to God. It's never too late to give your life to Jesus. And so I want to ask you right now, turn your life around. Give him a chance. Give him a chance and you will not be disappointed. Let's go. Hey, and if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe to this channel, comment. We want to hear from you guys. And we thank you for all those that are jumping on board with us on the Cross Caddy movement. But let's go play some golf right now. Let's get out there. I'm going to show you how I did this week. Uh, it was something cool. Let's go. Okay. Just hit an amazing shot right here. And uh, I'm not going to lie. It was really, really nice. Hole 14. It was about 120 yards out. I want to show you guys where I'm at. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the putter. That's how good it was, folks. I don't need a club. I just need the putter right now. They call me the magic man. I've been playing with my boy Taylor for many, many years. This is probably like our second year playing together. He's back there, he's right there. And uh, he calls me the magic man sometimes because sometimes magic happens, but then sometimes magic doesn't. It's like now you see him, now you don't. Here we go, folks. I got like a bee on me. What the heck? <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful shot. Let's go. Did you get that? Did you get that? All right. 